Hi, welcome back to Britt's Virtual Makerspace at here at the Lucero Library. Today we're making an apple volcano. It's a little more STEM than I usually do, but I thought it would be a nice change of pace. Here are what the kits look like. I've still got plenty of them left, so please come down and get one. And let's get started. What's included in the bag is an apple, some baking soda, and some vinegar. The rest is kind of optional. You don't have to have food coloring or dish soap, but they are good things to use. So first, we will cut out some of the apples so that we have space to work in. You don't want to go all the way through. You want to leave plenty of stuff for the walls of your volcano. Just like that. Not too deep, but deep enough. And then you'll put a little dish soap in it. Not a whole lot, just drizzle some in there. And then you'll take your baking soda. And I've already got this portioned out for the kits, so you won't have to do this, but a spoonful is plenty. So just take it and put some right in the hole. And if you have food coloring, you can add a couple dots, just a couple drops. I'm going to use two different colors so we get kind of a purple effect, hopefully, as long as it works right. You want to let it soak into the baking soda so that it'll come out with that color and not just kind of come out on its own. Once you see that it's been soaked in, you can start adding your vinegar. Just turn that. And there you go. It came out kind of blue and red, but if it had mixed better, it would be purple. You can see down here on the bottom it's purple. You can add as much vinegar as you'd like to make it do that until it stops or you can just do it once and that is it it's a nice fun little activity kind of educational for you like i said i do still have some kids here at the lucero library so come on by and grab one thank you and i'll see you next thursday on fritz virtual makerspace bye